Okay, so this video is going to primarily be me nerding out about dinosaurs, but that's okay because dinosaurs are awesome. That's a fact. Even if science has revealed they were more akin to birds than giant lizards, in my head a velociraptor would always be the monster from Jurassic Park, not an angry chicken thing. But regardless of what they really look like, dinosaurs will always be things of intrigue and awesome, as are their names. The name dinosaur itself was coined by Sir Richard Owen from putting together the two Greek words a dinos, meaning terrible, powerful and wondrous, and sauros, meaning lizard, meaning dinosaur translates to terrible lizard, which is fairly accurate considering they weren't really lizards, meaning that they were terrible at being lizards. Let's however look closely at some more specific names of these beasts. Here are five dinosaur names explained. Tyrannosaurus rex is without doubt the most iconic of all dinosaurs. Going so far to call it the king of the dinosaurs wouldn't be too hyperbolic either as king is quite literally its name. Well, a part of it anyway. The Tyrannosaurus species epithet rex quite literally means king in Latin, with the Tyrannosaurus part coming from Greek. Tyrannos, which in Greek means tyrant, and saurus meaning lizard as we've already established. All going together to mean tyrant lizard king. A truly awesome name for a truly awesome dinosaur. Stegosaurus is another iconic dinosaur, and by now you guys should know where the saurus part of its name comes from. So what about the stego part? Stego is once again a Greek word, meaning covered or roof in reference to the spines that cover their bodies from head to tail. Diplodocus was one of the largest and longest dinosaurs to exist. Its huge neck was counterbalanced with its perhaps even longer tail, and it's from a part of this extremely long tail where it gets its name. Diplodocus comes from the blending of two Greek words once again. Diplos in Greek means double and dokos means beams. The double beams that make up this dinosaur's name refer to the double beam of chevron bones located on the underside of its tail. Velociraptors, as previously mentioned, were more bird-like than Spielberg first thought. The name however comes from the Latin Velocis and Raptor, meaning swift and plunderer respectively. This name of swift plunderers and their portrayal in popular culture has shaped how we see raptors. The raptors in Jurassic Park however are based more on another dinosaur, the Deinonychus, with the author of the original novel confirming the raptors in the books are based on the Deinonychus in pretty much every way except for switching the name to Velociraptor as he felt it was much more dramatic. Deinonychus' name however is pretty dramatic though, meaning terrible claw in reference to those iconic foot claws. Triceratops once again derives from Greek words, but luckily to stop you guys dying of boredom, there's no saurus in this one and instead of coming from the blending of two Greek words, it comes from the blending of three. Tri meaning free, Cerus meaning horns, and Ops meaning face, all referring to the three horns on its face. Okay, so that's enough of me being Ross Geller. Talking about dinosaurs just brings out this boyish sense of wonder in me. The idea that these beasts roamed our planet before us is truly mind-blowing, and the names we've given them fit their monstrous image, from tyrant kings to swift plunderers. But what other dinosaur names are there? I've only touched upon the tip of the iceberg of dinosaur names. Tell me down below where one of your favourite dinosaurs got its name from. Now, excuse me, I really need to go watch Jurassic Park again.